Hi, I'm Bonnie, and welcome back to Black History Lessons. Black History Month is all about celebrating modern and historical black icons and the impact that they've had. In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass is a perfect example of a historical icon with great links to Ireland. Frederick was an African-American abolitionist and author who escaped slavery and arrived in Ireland in 1845. In May that year, Frederick Douglass's autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave, was published in the United States. Once his book was published, he feared his life was in danger and his masters would know where he was. So he set sail from Boston in August 1845 to the United Kingdom. After two days in Liverpool, Frederick headed to Dublin where an abolitionist named Richard Davis Webb was about to release an Irish edition of Douglas's autobiography. During his time in Ireland, Frederick gave almost 50 lectures across the country this time also coincided with Daniel O'Connell and the campaign to repeal the Act of Union of 1800. Frederick loved his experience in Ireland, as he wrote to his mentor, William Lloyd Garrison, I find myself not treated as a colour, but as a man. This is a reflection of being free from slavery, being safe and seen as an equal among the Irish. Frederick helped garner support for Irish freedom from British rule However, he did disagree with Irish nationalists who used the term slavery to compare the treatment of the Irish by Britain to that of black people in America. Frederick argued in a speech in Limerick that the Irish were oppressed but not slaves. His response was, is that if slavery existed here, it ought to be put down and the generous in the land ought to rise and scatter its fragments to the wind. Frederick wanted to be clear in his remarks that the Irish experience was very different because unlike the blacks in America, the Irish were free to marry, move around and emigrate. Frederick helped explain the meaning of slavery while at the same time fighting the cause that everyone should be free from oppression that still stands today. Be sure to come back for more black history lessons where we'll be talking about more great icons.